Hello everybody and welcome back to A Face Lay with TNA. If you are new here, my name is Alicia. It was my husband and I's second year anniversary a couple of days ago and he was taking me out. So this is the makeup look I went for. A classic sexy summer date night makeup look. I'm going to start off with priming my eyes using MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. This is pretty full coverage, covers up any discoloration, and it really makes sure that your eyeshadows last all day. I'm then going to set that using Makeup Geek Peaches and Cream, and really just splatting that all over the lid, nothing crazy, just messy and sloppy. Then I'm going to go in with Barcelona Beach. This is a beautiful, cool tone brown, and I'm just going to work that on the outer corner, and then bring it back and forth in windshield wiper motions into to my crease. I'm putting that color pretty high and keeping it pretty high so that with the darker colors that I go into, you get lower and lower and lower and it doesn't look like a hot mess or that you have a black eye. Then going in with Mocha by the Jaclyn Helen Morphe palette, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Nothing crazy, just bringing it a little bit lower, working it on the outer corner, putting all the product there and then blending it out into the inner corner. Sorry, I am talking to my son. Then I am going to do the exact same thing, putting a little bit more of mocha on my brush. I always like to go in with a little bit and work my way up rather than just go in with a lot and it be a hot mess. So I am just doing that and really blending it out. You will see me blend a lot through this video because with blacks, you really want to make sure that there is nothing choppy or harsh going on. I'm going to go in with Soda Pop which is this nice dark blacky gray, if you will. And I'm again doing the exact same thing. Then I'm going to take Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and a concealer brush. And I'm just kind of going to do a cut crease, like a half cut crease, but nothing precise or crazy because I just wanted a base for the shadow that I'm about to go on with. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of tapping off the inner corner so that it can blend all together. This eyeshadow is absolutely beautiful. It is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Eyeshadows. I'm not sure what it's called, but I promise you it will be listed in the description mark if you're interested. I just take my ring finger and I push it on and pat it onto my lid. I don't smear it or wipe it. Just patting does the trick. Then I'm going to go back in the soda pop and just make sure that everything is blended out. I do take Pooter, which I didn't show you. I am very sorry. And an extra, I think it's a Sigma E25 brush. Again, I'm sorry, I am working up the color, but I will be taking the E25, Sigma E25 brush and going in with Pooter and just blending everything out. There we go. That is what I'm doing right there, and I will do that a couple of times throughout the video. I'm then going to prime my face using the Physicians Formula Primer, and I'm just going to prime my skin and really rub it in there. This primer is amazing. It is a dupe for the Becca Backlight Filter Primer, in case you are interested. Then I'm going to take the Revlon 24 Hour Mousse Foundation. This stuff is amazing, you guys. I don't know if I've raved about it, but this is always my go-to when I need a foundation that's going to last a long time and look its best. And it's drugstore, so you can't go wrong. I like to paint it on with a foundation brush and then take like a stippling brush and really push it into my skin. That is how I find I get the best results. Then I'm going to conceal my under eyes and my forehead and my nose with the L'Oreal Blend Concealer. A little bit goes a long way. And if you haven't seen my last video, I used way too much. I will link that up if you're interested to see it. So I did a little bit this time. It still is very drying, but it is very full coverage. That being said, I am now going to liquid or cream bronze, if you will, with the Cover FX bronzer in Sunkissed. This bronzer is absolutely gorgeous. It's not too warm or like terracotta, if you will, and it's not too ashy. It is perfect. I'm going to take what is ever left over on my brush and just kind of go under my lip with it. This will help make your bottom lip, bottom lip, that's not a really weird, your bottom lip look fuller. And then I'm going to cream highlight with the Cover FX Enhancer Drops in Celestial just to give it an extra pizzazz. If you can't tell already, I really like to glow. The sponge that I'm using is the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, and what, 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 and whatever is left on my sponge, I'm just going to do my nose and my cupid's bow and my chin. I'm going to set my under eyes using the Rimmel Translucent Powder, and then just put 
a little bit of extra powder on my like smile lines and my chin and my t-zone where I do kind of find it breaks up throughout the night. I'm going to set my contour and bronze with the Annabelle bronzer using the Sigma F88 brush. This brush is amazing. It really gives you that chiseled contour and bronze perfectly. I'm going to use the Morphe 9N blush palette. I'm not sure if they still have this blush palette. I know that they've kind of changed their packaging. This palette is truly gorgeous. I really hope they do have it. And then I'm using the Lexi 504 brush. Everything will be listed in the description bar below in case you're interested. And I'm just doing my under eye, taking a dome brush and taking those colors and really just buffing them into the lower lash line and kind of dragging it down a bit. And then taking a bit with a flat definer brush and just putting that on my lower lash line, but just halfway, not all the way into my inner corner. I didn't find that that silver really popped so I took some of it on my brush and then sprayed it with some setting spray and I found that it really like made it foiled and a lot more silver and like boom it was it was beautiful. I'm going to highlight the inner corners and my eyebrows with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette using in light and then the lipsticks that I am using is the Maybelline blush brown blush and then the purely nude and I mix those together highlighting with the wet n wild precious petals highlighter and then setting my face phrase my phrase with the um, essence setting spray and then I'm fanning myself and that is the makeup look if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and the bell to get notifications on when we upload future content have a great day everybody thank you for watching